Okay, so I reviewed all the series of Victorious. And I had fun doing that. Talking about what I love, what I like. So let's talk about another movie show. So I decided to go with my other favourite series from Nickelodeon, which was, of course, Zoe 101. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. It arrived right in the middle of the golden age of Nickelodeon. My personal golden age, which would be from the 90s to 2014. Which would have meant it would, which would have meant it would have finished after Salmon Cat's solitary season, but that's beside the point. But that's irrelevant. So Zoe 101 follows Jamie Lynn Spears as Zoe Brooks at Pacific Coast Academy. And we meet quite a fun collective of characters. We meet Nicole, Nicole, Dana, Logan, Matthew, is Matthew, isn't it? Sorry, not Matthew, Michael, I meant. And of course, Chase. And hmm, I've mentioned before on Instagram that my favourite character in the show was Dana, played by Kristen Herrera. Pretty much the original Sam Puckett. What I love about Dana is her brilliant attitude, her awesome blunt honesty. She really paid. It's clear that how she managed to pave the way for characters like Alex Russo, Jade West, and Sam Puckett, as I mentioned before. For many people, series one is the best series of the show. Hmm. I disagree, and I think the best series was series two. And let's see. Series one is also the first, the only series to not have a TV movie. Mm, a little underwhelming, but. What the hell? Series 1 definitely had some of my favourite moments. Quinn, with all the sciencey stuff. <laughs> I liked the basketball game in the pilot episode. That's pretty much what sold it for me for this series. Uh... The scene where Dana slips on the skateboard and lands in the potato salad has me stitches every time I watch it. Uh, there's there's Nicole with the hair dryer. Yeah, not everyone's a morning person. I know what you're thinking. Am I phased off by what happened with Alexa Nicole being bullied on the set? My answer is, whilst it's surprising, I'm not phased from watching the show. Because I loved it. I needed it. <clears throat> if I had to pick a least favourite character... would have to be Logan. Cause he his attitude was was 
something to be desired. Nothing to do with the actor's fault. Maybe if Dana had been kept for another two series, then... Maybe their original plan would have been great with Dana and Logan getting together. The original Jade and Beck. It's not a suckish idea. Ah, Nicole's word, suckish. Means terrible. I also happen to use dripping a lot, as Michael invented. So, that's all. My favourite episode was the beach party episode, which was the series one finale. And my least favourite was the... was probably the Gen X episode. But that's all really I have to say. And I'm going to give Zoe 101 Series 1 an A+. Plus. So guys, thank you for watching. Look out for more videos.